Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel Programming Knowledge. In today's Microsoft Excel tutorials video, we are going to see that how can we insert or link various documents with a Microsoft Excel sheet. Now uh, you all must have encountered a situation where you are asked to link your various objects into Microsoft Excel sheets. So that is exactly what we are going to see in today's video. So let's start from our previous video. We already know that uh, there is one option through which we can link our predefined documents into the Microsoft Excel sheet and that is through hyperlinks. So how can you insert hyperlinks? You can uh, insert it only if the textual data is present. So that was the limitation. The textual data must be present. Suppose I have some textual data over here that is doc and I want to insert link. So you got to go to your insert tab and there is this hyperlink option. Once you click on it, you can select uh, any of the files that you want. You can select your folder and then you can go or select with any of the files that you want. Like I want to insert this Adobe Acrobat document and I click on OK. So now this Adobe Acrobat document is actually linked with my doc. So if I click on it, then yes this uh, adobe acrobat document has been opened now i just close it for a while so that was the limitation what you got to do was you got to just link it firstly the presence of the textual data was important then uh, the link was shown externally and there was no document actually shown but its link was shown so you got to go to that place and then the link was opened so that was a lengthy procedure but now we have some other options through which we can insert these different kinds of objects directly into microsoft excel sheet and that is through objects option so for that we do not need any text and that is the major change that we got from the hyperlink so how can we do that you got to select some cell uh, go to the insert tab then in the text group you will find this option of object once you click on it you will find this kind of a dialog box in front of you and this dialog box has two options you can create new or you can create an object from file create object from file means if you have some kind of a pre-existing object then you can just check it or you can just connect it with your microsoft excel and create new means you got to create a new object from scratch now the question arises that what kind of objects can i uh, connect with microsoft excel so once you go to file you all you can do is just select a file name through this browse button but what if you want to check that whether it is valid or not suppose i want to connect an adobe acrobat document then you can come to this create new tab and there is this object type so all these objects that are present over here are actually supported by Microsoft Excel. And the reason being it is all part of the Microsoft community. So all these uh, types of the documents are supported like WordPad, you can connect, you can connect PowerPoint, you can create a Word document, you can also create like a bitmap image, you can create a Photoshop image, Illustrator artwork can also be created you can also create uh, or connect an adobe acrobat document so it is advisable that you first got to check that whether the document that you want to connect is actually supported by microsoft excel or not so i have checked that yes my adobe acrobat document is actually supported so i go to create from file and then i click on this browse tab so this is my target document I click on it and click on insert then you have two options link to file and display as icon now what do these do if you just check on this link to file option then uh, what you will get is an exact copy of your document in your excel sheet and uh, I am just going to go with it and just click on ok then it may take some time so now you can see that uh, we followed this link to file option and uh, using that this is a copy of the document that is actually available over here so now you can directly read this document from here 
but there is another option that we had over there which was if you just go to this object again go to create from file and uh, choose the file so i'm just going to choose the same document and now i'm going to insert it in the form of display as icon so if i click on it then again similar to link it would be shown but the uh, drawback of adding a text is removed and um, now you got to show an icon if you want you can go to this change icon options and since there is no other alternative for adobe acrobat so no icons are available but um, if there are other options then these icons are visible once you click on okay you can see this kind of icon is created and if you click on it uh, to follow the link then here our document has been opened okay so that is how you can create an object that is already existing on your uh, pc with microsoft excel now i'm creating a new sheet and here what we are going to do is we are going to link a new document so that document is actually not present in our pc but we are going to create a new document so um, from this we have to go to this create new tab and here we can select our type of the document that we want to create i'm going to create this powerpoint presentation and if i click on this display as icon option then there is this change icon and in this there are these different kinds of icons available if you want you can just select any of the icons so i'm going to go with this icon i really like it and just click on ok and if you re uh, read its description inserts a new microsoft powerpoint presentation object into your document as an icon and you can click on ok then you can see that a new powerpoint has opened but if you look clearly at its title its presentation in tables versus range in excel that was the name of our excel sheet and that is displayed as an icon so it is here where it takes us now what happens if i just go to this uh, object and i want to insert another powerpoint presentation actually a slide and i do not want to display as an icon and i click on ok then when i do that you can see my excel has somewhat changed to the, my powerpoint itself you can see these all tabs are of powerpoint and this is the slide so if i want i can make any changes to my slide like i just change it to sample object so this is what i want and i'm just going to delete it this is my slide now what if i want to come back to my excel then how can i do that all you got to do is click anywhere else and you are out of your powerpoint and you are back on your excel similarly if you just double click once again onto your slide then you are back into powerpoint and you can make any of the changes into the slide uh, as you want you can make it bold italic you can change its color and anything basically that you like you can do it but once you click over any of the cells that is outside the slide then you are back in your excel so that is how you can uh, insert powerpoint objects in microsoft excel but what if you want to insert an object of any other type then you can insert it of any other type but make sure it is of the same type that has been listed over here so it is advised to always check in as i have already told you now i want to insert this microsoft word document so i'm just going to go with it and uh, you can see that now my excel has actually changed to microsoft word and this is the page that we have got and i can just type it anything like sample document like this okay and i can just change its formatting like this to anything that i want i can increase its size i can change its color everything and anything that you want also i can increase its size so that more things are visible now you must have noticed that my excel has not changed to word if you want to switch it back you got to click anywhere outside of this and simply you can just single click over here and change it position as well but if you just double click then again it comes into the word 
इनसाइड माइक्रोसॉफ्ट एक्सेल सो दैट इज बिकॉज ऑल दीज आर एक्चुअली पार्ट ऑफ द माइक्रोसॉफ्ट एक्सेल कम्युनिटी एंड ऑल आर एक्चुअली इंटरलिंक्ड विथ वन अनदर सो आई होप यू ऑल हैव एंजॉयड दिस वीडियो दैट्स ऑल फॉर दिस वीडियो थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग